Yo, yo, what is going on, guys? It is the DFS Shark. We got another day of some NBA hoops. Only three games on the slate today, so not a lot of value on the board, honestly. Um, I have two of my plays that I'm going to go over, and I got another three plays that I'm going to be throwing that in a slip with, but not the most value on the slip today, but we're going to get into it either way. As always, guys, if y'all watch these videos, y'all like these breakdowns, make sure you hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can be alerted as soon as these breakdown videos drop. I'm dropping morning prize picks videos like this every single day. And if y'all want all my free plays even sooner, then join the Discord. It is free to join. The link is in the description. That is where I send out all my free plays. And if I'm adding anything throughout the day, I'm going to send those in there as well. But I want to go over yesterday's play, man. We had a, we cashed out yesterday, man. We hit a 10X. So let's go through these plays here. So the top two plays I had on the slip were Mike Conley and Zubak. And they both hit with ease uh, Mike Conley crushed that line he hit it as soon as the third quarter started he hit that line Zubak I think in the third quarter he hit it as well and then these are the other plays I gave away in yesterday's video we ended up smashing this five-man line hitting, hitting that 10x here we had Nurkic go on the under less than rebounds we had Giddy more than 14 and a half points SGA ended up not playing which worked to our advantage he was when I put that play in he was sort of a game time decision. So I like to play whether he played or not. Ended up not playing. So Giddy got a huge bump in production there. And then Nick Richards didn't even get a blocker still. But we were due for one of these 10 X's. Seems like we just been catching some bad breaks lately. So it's good to get back on our feet with this um, 10 X here. To close out the month, really. We only got like a day or so left in the month. So it's always good to hit these 10 X's. These 25 X's really jumps up that bankroll. And then also the top two plays hit, which was good to get that little on top as well. But if you guys are not on prize picks, you want to jump in prize picks, drop this promo code in. They're going to hook you up with a 100% match deposit bonus. Throw in 50, they're going to match you 50. Throw in 100, they're going to match you 100. And the same offer applies to chalkboard as well, right? Drop in the code shark here and they're going to hook you up with that 100% match deposit. And then also if you're in the discord, shoot me a message. Um, that you signed up with those codes and i will set you up in the premium for 30 days and if you're in the discord if you slide on down here to free plays this is where i'm posting all of my free plays every single day you can see here i'm posting all kinds of slips i post some underdog lines in here as well chalkboard slips um so these, these are the free plays if you want even more plays if you want all of my slips every single day, I'm usually sending eight to 12 slips among different sports books. We're playing on prize picks, underdog and chalkboard at the moment. We could be adding some later on, depending on what happens. But if you just go to join premium here, it'll take you to the site and then you can check it out from there or just go to the dfsshark.com. That's my website and you can learn more about um, the premium there as well. But let's dive into these plays of the day. Let's see what the optimizer has for us today. So I get all of my plays from DGF. Sometimes I'm on the top plays, sometimes I'm not, but this is where I come to get, you know, my top 20 to 30 plays. And this is where I look at the board and I just kind of go from here because any play you get on here, even if they're in the red, um, you're getting really good odds. But normally I'm like so, somewhere in the orange. Sometimes I get the green plays. It just kind of depends on what I'm seeing with other things. But let's hit this refresh here. And let's go over these top two plays. So we got Franz Wagner. We got him under eight and a half rebounds and assist. You see FanDuel actually has this at a seven and a half. So you're getting an extra point of value here. DraftKings has this all the way to minus 130. Then you got Herb Jones, PRA over 17 and a half. This is a play I like actually. I think I'm on his play on underdog, can't remember, but I think it was points and assist I was on. Um, but Herb Jones is a player I like tonight. But DGF is the tool that I use every day when it comes to finding these lines. All of the plays for my 10X lineup yesterday came from DGF. And then I used Outlier to kind of dive into stats and trends from there. Um, but if you want to get started on daily grind and check it out drop in that code shark they're gonna hook you up with 25 percent off your first month so you're getting a great deal there so you can get in there get some whims and make your money back from the subscription on your first month actually um, but let's dive into the plays of the day first play of the day is going to be williamson so i'm going to be rolling with williamson like i said there's only three games so we got a limited slate today um so you just got to so we're just going to make it work, right? We're going to make it work what we got. So we're doing a kind of a stack in this Boston and Pelicans game. So I'm going under on Williamson on the points, right? Let's go into the game here. Celtics on the road against the Pelicans. Celtics minus five. Now this game could go either way, right? I'm hoping one of these teams blows the other out. Um, even though the spread's 
a minus five on Boston side. I could see this game going either way, especially with the Pelicans being at home. Let's dive into this, man. So first of all, Williamson has been having some strong games lately. You can see 36, 29, 28. And if you go to his last 10, he's had some strong games as well, which I feel like may have bumped up his line a little too much. A little, I think it's a little higher than what I would like to see. If I was going to be playing the over over his last 20 games, he's averaged about 23.75. Um, and also Ingram is out. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Head to head last time they played Boston, he in January 29th, he had 26 exactly. So he would have gone under this line here. For the year, 69%. But you can see he was on a run here. Against power forwards, um, Boston is number one ranked team in the D. Only averaging 21.4 points per game to opposing power forwards. And just overall, they're number six in the league um, in points allowed. So Boston is a very strong defense. I'm liking him staying on the under. You can see he's hit this line in eight of his last 10, averaging 26.5. So he's averaging exactly what his line is, which is why I'm saying I think feel like we're getting good value at this 26 and a half. Now, if it was 25 and a half, I definitely wouldn't play this. Um, but I feel like us up us getting up to 27 is pretty strong value here. So this is the play I'm gonna be rolling. This is gonna be my number one play of the day. Hopefully, I'm hoping Boston come out, play some great defense. Uh, if you look at the odds here, DraftKings minus 115, Caesars minus 123. So not the highest juiced um, play, actually. Usually my plays are a lot higher juiced. But like I said, it's a three-game slate, so I'm just going to kind of work with what I got today. If we slide on over here to Rotowire, they got him playing 35 minutes and only scoring 24 points. So Rotowire has him going three whole points under what his line is currently set at, so that's good for us. And then the next play, I'm going on Tatum as well. So I'm going on this matchup, but Tatum, I'm not going on the points. I'm going on the rebounds. Um, and the line I was able to get was seven and a half rebounds. Hopefully it's still here. It sure is. So he's at this la at his last three out of five. But let's dive into Tatum here. So over his last five, he's gone for 60%. But this one obviously was the overtime game against Atlanta. Um, so he probably played a lot more minutes. Here you can see he played 45 minutes. So that game doesn't really count so much right but let's just look over his last 10 he's only hit this at 40 percent last 20 50 percent but head to head um when they played him back in january he had 10 rebounds the game before that last season he had 10 rebounds and then right here he had seven so even on the game he missed he's been right at that line and for the year tatum is at this line 57 percent of the time he's averaging 8.24 rebounds a game which is solid, which is above that line as well. Um, and also even just looking back to last year, right? He hit this line 68% of the time, and he's averaging 9.14. Now, it's, I don't usually go back into last season too much, but it just shows that Tatum is a strong defender, and he can consistently get, you know, 8 to 10 boards a game. Diving into, it says small forward here, but they kind of move Tatum around. Um, but whether it's small forward, power forward, um, Pelicans are about 11th and 17th in the league here rank. So pretty much middle of the pack against rebounds allowed. And you can see here, you the one cool thing about outlier, you can actually see like rebound chances. Um, and then you can see the breakdown of offensive and defensive rebounds. So if we go to injuries here, obviously for the Pelicans, Ingram's out. Alvarado's out, but for the Celtics, there's no major injuries at all. Everybody's going to be playing full minutes as well. Um, so I'm liking this one here. Tatum, let's go to Rotowire, see what they have. They have him a whole point and a half above his rebounds line also. So they got him getting about nine rebounds in the game, which is very solid. So these are the top two plays, man. I'm locking these in. Or I've already locked these in, actually, and sent these out in the Discord as well. But these are the next three plays I'm going to be going with. And I'm looking to hit that 10x again. So that's, this is what we're going to be rolling. We're going to be going to Jante Murray now. He has been balling out lately. Um, and because of that, especially his overtime game last game, um, I feel like his line just might be a little inflated here, right? I mean, obviously, he can go off and just crush this line. But he is going up against a Milwaukee defense, who is a very, pretty solid defense. Um, so I'm liking DeJounte Murray to stay under this line here. Um, looking for the Bucks to put a lot of pressure on him and to make it tough on him to get good looks. Um, 
maybe even some double teams the way he's been playing. Um, we'll see what happens, but I'm liking him staying under this line here. And then for my last two, I'm going back to the Boston game. I'm doing sort of a mini Boston stack here because that's the game I'm liking the most on the slit tonight with only three games. Normally, I wouldn't do stacks like this on a single game, so I'm rolling with it. I'm going to be going Porzingis over 17 and a half points. You see, he's hit this line three out of his last five. He's been shooting the ball well lately, and even on the games where he's missed, he's had exactly 17. So... I'm liking Porzingis on the over here. And then for my last play, I'm going to be going Drew Holiday over 18 and a half PRA here. So he's at this four of his last five. He's been playing well as well. You can see he's had three games here over 20 PRA and actually over 24 PRA on three of those five games. So that's well above his line there. Um, so these are three solid plays. Like I said, it's going to be a lot of action on this Boston and New Orleans game. They're playing at four. So just be aware of that if you're putting these slips in later in the day. If you're seeing this later in the day, it's going to be an early game there. It's looking like that's going to be it for these plays. Guys, we are looking to hit another 10x coming off that 10x day yesterday. Um, looking for a repeat, man. And the way I run my lines is I run those two mans together. I throw that two man in the five man play. And then I'm usually, I'll usually put like whatever your one unit is. If your one unit is um, $20. You want to take 60% of that, put it on the five-man slip, and take that other 40% and put it on the two-man slip. So if you hit the two-man slip, then you're already in the green, even if you lose the rest of the plays on the five-man slip. And then if you hit the five-man slip, whether you double it or you hit the 10x, you're really cashing out for the day, which is what we did yesterday. Um, and that's one of the betting strategies that I use, and that's the one I suggest everyone use in the Discord. Now, you can play whatever way you want, but that's what has worked for me. That's what I'm going to keep rolling with on these videos. But if y'all want to get started on prize picks, drop in this promo code and then chalkboard drop in this promo code as well. And they will set y'all up Then shoot me a message in the Discord. And I'll get y'all set up in the premium and give y'all all the slips as well. I'm going to be dropping an MLB slip later on. But make sure you hit that like if you haven't liked this video. If you like the breakdown, I'm giving breakdowns like this every single day. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Hope y'all have a great rest of the day. Take care.